Hello, my name is Maria Almernas. I'm a teaching artist at the Clay Studio, and today I'm going to show you how to do Mishima. And I have a little sample here, and this is what we're going to end up doing, which is a little uh, drawing that I'm doing from my series, uh, Homebound. The materials you would need for the for Mishima technique is leather hard project. You're going to need a some tool for incisions. So it could be an exacto knife. It could be one of these lovely tools from ZM Tools. Uh, it could be a needle tool. Um, you're also going to need your drawings. So you can either freehand them or you can trace them on newsprint or newspaper. You need your underglazes and a brush. In this case, I have my color palette and my brush that I'm going to need for later. And you're going to need a metal rib so you can scra scrape off the underglaze from your work. Okay? Okay, I'm going to place my image, I'm placing my image onto the plate and I'm going to uh, trace my drawing with my precision double ball tool and I'm at this moment, I'm just making, uh, I'm adding pressure to my image. And you can also do this with a pencil or use a, a pen. And if you're freehand drawing, you don't need to trace your image, obviously. You can just go ahead and start creating your marks onto your leather hard piece. Um, I have a very elaborate little drawing. So it's, it's, I got to make sure that I put all my marks so I'm lifting my image as I go to make sure that my mark may I be able to see the marks that I'm creating uh, with while I'm tracing and uh, drawing onto clay is super fun and I have a, this is like a great way to put in images onto your work. So after I trace, and as you can see, very faint marks of the drawing, I'm going to go ahead and go over it with my uh, incision tool. And you want to make sure, and if you want to change the thickness of your lines, you can use an X-Acto knife for a thinner, more clean line, or a thicker. there are thicker ball tools to make even wider lines. Um, I always... Uh, recommend to practice on a piece of draw of clay with a variety of tools to see what type of mark making you can do. Um, with a dry brush you can always push around all the little clay boogers that uh, that you will be creating by incising, incising the clay. Once I'm done with this image then I'm going to go ahead with my underglaze and in a brush and I'm going to paint over all of my marks and um, you don't have to cover the entire area with one color. You could also change colors and you can use a thinner brush for let, so then later you can scrape um, less clay. Uh, you want to make sure that you cover everything that you're going to paint, that you're going to uh, fill in all your marks. And um, Make sure that the slip that you're using is a contrasting color. Once the underglaze is dry, sort of leather hard actually, you're gonna go ahead and with a mix of tools, you're gonna to start scraping it off. And as you scrape it off, you'll see that your line, that all the color goes away and then only the color that's inside the lines is what's gonna stay. And you wanna make sure that you clean the rib as you go because if not, you're going to end up making more marks onto your clay and um, later it's going to have to take a lot longer to clean. And you could also use a loop tool to scrape off the underglaze or a rubber rib. I like to mix in a little bit of metal rib. Metal rib is the best because uh, it's soft metal that you can bend to the shape of your piece that you're scraping. As you can see, I'm constantly taking off the underglaze and I always recommend to wait for the underglaze to be leather hard to start removing, but if you are, if you don't want to wait, you can start doing it a little bit before. Um, just make sure that you remove it all off. And you don't have to remove the entire thing, you can leave some tracing 
which sometimes can look really nice. Um, I'm using my dry brush to remove all my clay boogers. I call them clay boogers. Uh, not everybody calls them clay boogers. Um, all my little bits of clay. And I'm bending the rib to the shape of my little platter. And as you can see, the image is revealed as you go along. Always remember, if you, uh, you want to do this process while the piece is leather hard, you can wait until it be a little drier, but still in leather hard stage. You don't want to create clay dust as you're doing this. So never blow, always use a dry brush, and you, can, you don't have to throw it onto the table like I'm doing, you can put it directly into a bucket with water. I use a moist sponge to clean up a little bit all of the extra residuals, and voila, we are done with our Mishima piece. Thank you so much for watching this video, and my name is Maria with The Clay Studio. Thank you so much.